Uh, I run Handel Group Life Coaching. We are a life coaching company that helps individuals who come to us because they're struggling with some area of their life, their career, their health, their body, their love life. They want to fall in love. They want to stay in love. And they hire us to help them get from where they are now to where they want to be. Before she became a life coach, Gerber was running a tutoring company. She saw many of her clients had dysfunctional family dynamics, but she had no platform from which to help them. Having had her own life-changing experience with life coaching, Gerber decided to become a life coach. I was in my 30s, I wasn't actually happy. I was addicted to sugar, I was not doing well in my relationship, I was not in a career that I loved. So I hired a coach, Lauren Zander, who came up with this method. She very quickly altered my entire life in a way that nothing had before. And then I started to look at my career and said, what do I really want to do? So I learned how to teach the method. Now Gerber coaches clients looking to change their lives using the Handel Group methodology. One effective way that Gerber has found to change their mindset and thereby their actions is to give yourself promises and consequences. How do you align action? with the heart and the head. Specific and measurable rules that you keep for yourself that align you to your highest ideal, and then a consequence, an artificial consequence that keeps you on track with what you said you'd do. So for example, every time I would interrupt my husband, he felt more and more discounted, less and less respected, until finally he got really, really mad at me and shut down. I didn't notice until we were so far apart that it was problematic for our relationship. So now I have a promise called no interrupting my husband and a simple consequence. If I do, I do one of his chores. I don't like to do chores, so that's a good consequence for me. And all of a sudden, lo and behold, I am able to control myself from interrupting because that consequence is immediate. The power of a consequence that's immediate and annoying but not punitive is that it reminds you what you really want. Of course, the promises you make and the consequences you use to keep yourself on track will change as your situation changes. As Gerber became a wife and a mom, her promises and consequences evolved with her situation. And the truth is that you feel great when you're in alignment. So how do you align your life and actions with your highest ideals? Here are Gerber's six tips. Dream big. Think about the different areas of your life, from your body to career to family. What are your dreams for these areas? Try to imagine the ideal scenario and describe it. Look at what's holding you back. Rate your life in each of these areas from one to 10. If the number's not up there, what's keeping you from living the dream? Write down your excuses and see whether they really hold up. Make promises. Write down what you'd like to accomplish this year. Make it a stretch, but doable. Then each week make promises about what you're going to do to get there. Whether it's exercising five times a week, avoiding sugary desserts, or making time for intimacy with your mate. Set consequences for not following the promises you made for that day or week. If you're not hitting the gym or going outside to play with your kids, then it might be a night without Netflix, or having to give away some of that hard-earned cash in your wallet. But don't get down on yourself when you miss a promise and must pay up. Consequences are there to get your attention and keep you on track. Plan your days so they include time for small steps that will move you towards your goals, as well as a little flexibility for when life throws you little curveballs. Find someone to report to on your progress and consequences. It could be a life coach like Gerber, a supportive friend or spouse, or even an online community. Read more about Lori Gerber at 24life.com.